Namaste yogis, welcome, Melissa here from Mystical Stone. Thank you so much for watching. So today's practice is about your feet, all about your feet. We're gonna work in strengthening and stretching them and then aligning the feet. So we're gonna start on chair shavasana. So get yourself a chair, a go near a couch or have an ottoman. And you also want to have three blankets and one bowl. So you can have a tennis ball, which is the one I recommend. I didn't have one, so I'll do a uh, golf ball. You can do that too. It's just a little bit um, stronger. So we'll just do it carefully. We're gonna start laying down on our back. So keep your uh, golf ball handy. And to lay down on your back on Church of Asana, I recommend that you have one or two blankets on top of your chair, depending how long your legs are, because you want to have a 90 degree angle. Then you may have an extra blanket for under your head. And we're gonna go ahead and lay down, bringing our legs up the chair. And just allowing your hips to release onto the floor. Relax your shoulders, bring your hands by your sides, palms facing up. <clears throat> you may adjust your blanket. Close your eyes and take a couple of long deep breaths. So depending on the rotation of your hips, if you notice that your knees flare, you can have a strap or a scarf and tie it up around your thighs just to keep them about fist distance apart. This is going to help to derotate your hips. It's very, very um, effective, especially if you have any pain on your lower back SI joint. This is gonna help keeping your knees in line with the hips. And then we're just gonna Get comfortable here. Bring the awareness down to your feet. Relax your toes, foot soles. Relax the top of your feet. Relax your ankles. Relax your lower legs. Relax your knees. Relax your thighs and your glutes. Let your hips and shoulders be heavy. Relax your lower back and mid back. You wanna let them be flat. Relax your upper back. Soften your neck. Your neck is extended, but not hyperextended. So although you will feel a nice stretch through the sides of the neck, you don't want your neck to be flat on the floor. Let your shoulders and arms be heavy. Yet allow your hands to be relaxed, relax your fingers and let them curl naturally into your palms. No tension, no effort, just relaxation. Relax your face and your jaw. And then observe your breath. We're gonna start with Dirga Pranayama, breathing in through your nostrils, expanding your tummy. and side ribs and chest and exhale from your chest side ribs and finally empty your belly and again belly up and side ribs and chest and belly down and belly up all the way up to the chest and then from your chest let your belly down continue to breathe slowly and you're going to start noticing that your lower back starts getting closer to the floor and that's exactly what we want for jajavasana <clears throat> we also want to keep the feet relaxed the legs and on your next inhalation extend your right leg flex your foot press the back of the leg against the chair really flexing right from the ankle to feel the stretch through the Achilles tendon your calf maybe even spread your toes wide and as you inhale rotate to so Charlie Chaplin position of the right foot toes out still your heel is in line with your hip and as you exhale, toes towards the left pigeon toe position. And again, inhale, open. 
and exhale close flexing the foot one more inhale open and exhale close come back to center as you inhale and as you exhale bring your ankle against the thigh if this is too much, push your chair away. So softening through the knee, so your foot is gonna be farther away. That will keep tension from the knee. But if you are okay, you will just keep that left leg at a 90 degree angle and push your left, knee, your right knee away from you without using hands. Just really engaging the hip. So when you're ready, wiggle your toes and start by the pinky toe and start doing circles five to ten circles your choice and then circle on the opposite direction and then we go to the next toe and circle on the opposite direction and the next toe keep breathing and the next toe And the big toe. Now, when you're already gonna bring your pinky right in between pinky uh, uh, finger, right in between your pinky toe and next toe, and then your ring finger, and then your middle finger, and finally your index. So use your other hand to get to the edge of the toes. If it's too much, then bring the tips of your fingers in and that is enough. So we're really gonna, depending how uh, your toes are doing and how much tension you carry on your toes and then you might not be able to go right in. So just the tips of the fingers will do. Then squeeze gently or a little harder, depending what feels right with your hand. Hold onto the ankle with your right hand to just uh, stabilize that foot. And when you're ready, use your hand and your shoulder um, strength to rotate the circle, uh, rotate the foot. <laughs> and do about five, and then we'll do the same thing on the opposite direction. You can do 10 as well. Just for the purposes of the video, I'll do only five. And then, point and feel the stretch to the front of your foot. Don't overdo it. And then use your arm to flex. And again, point and flex. Keeping the foot relaxed and really checking what stretch feels right. Don't overdo it. So about again, five toe flexes here. And when you are ready, shake. Good. Now squeeze the foot, I mean the toes, and then let go. Now you're going to use both hands and press your palms against the toes. And then a little higher. And then higher. Go into your ankle, a little higher on your leg. Put in pressure with both hands. You may extend your leg. Press gently at the back of the knees to stimulate the lymph nodes. And press a little higher on your thigh. Breathe deeply. And once again, we start from the toes all the way up to the hip. And last one. And then release. And just pay attention for a few moments. Notice the difference between your right leg and left leg. You may notice that tingling sensation or coolness from the foot all the way up to the leg. Feel that freshness. If you have any concerns with um, circulation, this is a great exercise to do before going to bed. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So when you're ready, Extend your leg, flex your foot, 
and try to keep your knee extended just to the best of your ability. Watch for your hip flexor to start pinching, release, or push your chair away from you. You have that option. And breathe. And when you are ready, gonna turn your toes out to the right. You turn the whole leg, not just from the ankle or right from the hip. And then as you exhale, turn your toes to the right, pigeon toe. And again, toes out as you inhale. And toes in as you exhale. And out. And in. And back to center. And we're gonna place the ankle over the left thigh. So once more, hold onto the ankle. Remember you push that left knee away without pushing with the hand. And bring your hand to your pinky toe and circle. We're gonna do um, five to 10 circles on each toe. And once you are ready, you're gonna bring your fingers or tips of the fingers right in between each toe. We start with the pinky, between the pinky toe and the next toe, and then we continue all the way up to the big toe. Use the opposite hand to help. And once you have a good grip of your foot, you can squeeze it just comfortably. Hold the ankle again with your left hand and keep that hip active, stabilizing your foot. And when you're ready, you're gonna do five circles in one direction, keeping the foot relaxed and really using your arm and your shoulder. Come back to center and stretch and flex. So you do five to 10 circles on each direction first. And then you do about five to 10 toe flexes using your arm muscles. And when you are done, you're gonna release and squeeze, release the ankle and squeeze the toes and then let go, use both hands and press firmly with both palms without digging with your fingers. You don't wanna bruise yourself, your calf. If you find any tension, any place where there is tension, oh, my hair. <laughs> and then you want to uh, spend some time behind your knee in the crease of the leg just to get that stimulation of the lymph node. And then up. And then we start again from toes. Ankle. And up. Always from bottom to top. Getting the blood coming all the way up. So if you suffer from restless leg syndrome, this is a great one to do. You can do it any time really, but especially at night. And then you can do some legs up the wall or chair shavasana, which is actually my favorite. And when you do about three to five on each side, then you're going to relax, hands by your sides, close your eyes and observe your breath. And once more, notice the freshness of your feet, your legs. We'll take two more breaths here. When you're ready, wiggle your toes and fingers, move your feet side to side, and then free yourself from the chair, bring your, um, not straps, but blankets to your side, and then we're gonna take the chair out of the way. Comfortably come up to a seated position. And 
So you have three blankets, and hopefully you have three blankets. That's okay if you have two, it's fine. So you're gonna use one for under your knees, just to have an extra padding. And then for the extra two, fold them like so, and place them in between your feet. Have about fifth distance between your knees. Go into tabletop position. Point your toes. Stack your shoulders over the wrist. Throw your navel in. Just to stabilize your back, keep your pelvis neutral. Do not go onto an anterior tilt. And as you exhale, squeeze your blanket with your feet. And inhale, soften and exhale and inhale three more exhale squeeze and inhale and hopefully your glutes are helping you're not squeezing your buttocks like in purpose but it will get active then release awesome now when you are ready you're gonna put your blankets aside Curl the toes under and stretch back. You may bring your hands to the top of the mat. You may rest your forehead towards the floor. You don't have to go all the way down. You can stay up here and breathe. If your pinky is not getting a stretch, use your hands and help that pinky to curl in. Breathe here so that you massage your internal organs while you stretch your feet. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. And when you're ready, come up on your tabletop, uncurl the toes and wiggle them. Then just rest the top of the feet on the floor, sit back on your heels. You may stack your fist and rest your forehead down. We'll take a few moments here, breathe. The next time you inhale, bring your hands under the shoulders and exhale, push yourself up. Walk towards your tabletop position, draw your navel in, curl the toes under, pick up your knees, push your chest towards the thighs, tailbone up, equal weight on left and right. Breathe deeply here. We'll take one more breath, full deep breath. And when you are ready, walk your hands back towards your feet. You can take your blanket out of the way. Bend your knees a lot, draw your navel in, use your hands, relax your shoulders, and then slowly come up to your standing position and relax your shoulders. So we're gonna use our chair again. Now, take your bowl. So if you have a tennis ball, remember, that's a little gentler and we can start with that and then work our way onto a golf ball. Or if you have a golf ball available, that's okay. We're just not gonna put too much pressure on it. We're just gonna feel it and just try to control the weight. So tap your chair to help you to control the weight. Squeeze your bum and put the weight on the left foot and bring the ball of your right foot on the ball. Have your chair handy if you want to get that extra support or try to balance here. And if it's working okay for you, we're going to do circles in one direction from the ball of the foot down the arch and all the way down the heel. And then again from the bottom from the ball of the foot or from the toes to the heel. And 
Notice what your hands are doing if you're balancing. <laughs> and then we'll do again from toes to heel. My pinky likes to lift. What do your your hands do? What your hands what does? No, what do you your hands do? I think I said it right. And then we're gonna just put the ball to the front, walk it out. About fist distance between your toes and your heels slightly wider apart so the outer edges of your feet are parallel to your the edges of your mat. This is your Tadasana standing. Pubic bone and hip bones are balanced. Relax your shoulders over the hips, hands by your sides, palms up. And we'll just take a few moments to feel the difference between left and right. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So when you are ready, you're gonna take the ball right under the left foot, squeeze your bum, stabilize your pelvis. And then once more, you can do it with the help of the chair or next to the wall or do your balancing, but controlling how much weight you put. So we're gonna start again from ball of the foot, building or massaging, not building, all the way up to the heel. And then again, from the toes to the heel. If you find spots of tension, you can stay there for extra massage. You can do as long as you need to, just try to keep it even. And we'll do again. So once again, this can be done at your own time with the help of the wall or the chair. And then once we have stretch and massage and stretch the foot soles, we're gonna put the ball aside, walk it out, find Tadasana standing, balance your pelvis, relax your shoulders, palms face forward, close your eyes for a few moments and notice. And we'll take one more breath. And when you're ready, release your posture. You're gonna take your bowl and just put it away so you don't step on it. With the help of the chair, you're gonna find our Tadasana and bring your right knee up. Now, Hold onto the leg or hold onto the chair. You can hold onto the top of the knee. Just make sure it feels okay on your hip. If this is too much, bringing it at the level of the hip, keep it lower, that's fine. Now when you're ready, you're gonna rotate your ankle to the right. And to the left. and toe flexes. And release and walk it out. So that was about um, 20 circles, but that was 20 circles. If you're doing your counting, and just in case. <laughs> so you're gonna now put the weight on the ball, I mean on the right foot and bring your left knee up. Balance your hips and maybe hold. Shoulders back and down and start your circles. And reverse. and toe flexes. And release. Now, some things to look for. If you start feeling your standing hip 
you are hinging onto the side. So try to stay out of the hip. And remember, you can always use the chair to support you. Walk it out, take a couple of breaths, and we'll take the chair out of the way again, and we'll go down onto the floor. Relax your shoulders back and down, sit comfortably. You can sit on your heels to stretch the front of your feet or cross-legged. Really pay attention to the sensations of your feet. We'll take two more breaths here. Open your eyes, bring your fingertips to the side, and as you inhale, bring your left arm up, reach up, shoulder down, and as you exhale, go into a gentle side bend to the right, cross-legged or on your heels. Don't overdo it. You can walk your hand a little bit to the side. If this is too much for the shoulder, rest the top of the hand on your lower back and open your shoulder a little bit. Move it back a little bit. Reach your arm up as you inhale. And as you exhale, pull yourself up back to an upright. Shoulders back and down. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Fingertips to the sides. Then inhale your right arm up. And exhale, shoulder down. Side bend to your left. Once again, you can walk your foot back if you need to, if you want to. Modify the position of your arm if, want to, if you want to. And still think about pulling your shoulder back a little bit. When you take your next inhalation, reach your arm up. And as you exhale, pull yourself up and release. And relax your shoulders back and down a few times. And we're going to go down onto the floor once again, laying down. You have your blankets handy. So depending what's going on in your hips, we're going to use them as support. I like to have always one under my head, but you don't have to. And then have the extra two just on each side of the mat, just in case you're going to use them. Once you lay flat, we'll take a few moments here and just check in from the bottom to top, from, toe to, uh, from the toes to the crown of the head. Now when you're ready, bring your legs closer together, flex your feet and bring your right knee in. Hold the back of the leg or hold your shin. Hold the knee with the opposite hand. Bring your right arm at a T position and rotate your pelvis towards the left so that your knee goes across the body towards the floor on the left side. On your next inhalation, come back to center. And as you exhale, release your foot, extend your leg, and take a few moments. Flex your feet once again and bring your left knee up. Hold the knee. Actually, hold the knee or the shin in. Breathe. Back of the leg is also an option. And when you're ready, hold the knee with your opposite hand and bring the other arm out of T position. Then go into your spinal twist. Breathe. Breathe. 
On the next inhalation, come back to center. And on the exhalation, release your foot, extend your leg, and take a few moments, observe. If there is any stretch your body wants, you can go for it now, so you may hug your knees and rock side to side. Bring your feet down. And you can have your blankets. You can fold them at the same level if you need that extra support. Bring your foot soles together and let your knees flare. So you can have that extra support under your legs or if it's okay for you, you're gonna let your knees just flare naturally. Have your pubic bone and hip bones parallel to the floor. Release your rib cage. Elongate your neck, but don't hyperextend it. Relax your hands by your sides and observe your breath. You can stay here for as long as you need. You can pause your video and stay here for a couple more breaths. Otherwise, on your next inhalation, bring your knees up and on your exhalation, extend your legs, relax your breath, relax your body, relax your mind. And just like the last pose, if you would like more time on Shavasana, you're welcome to pause your video and stay here for as long as you need. Otherwise, we'll take two more breaths here. And on your next inhalation, wiggle your toes and fingers. Move your feet side to side and stretch your arms overhead. Bring your legs closer together and tense every muscle and squeeze tight, tight, tight. Prune face. Exhale, release. We'll do it again. Stretch and tense. You may point or flex your feet and squeeze every muscle tight, tight, tight. Exhale, release, and we'll do it one last time. Inhale deeply, stretch and tense and squeeze. And exhale, release. When you're ready, bend your knees and bring your foot soles on the floor. Fall over your favorite side. Use your top hand and help yourself up on your next exhalation. Come up onto your comfortable seated position so you can come onto your cross-legged position or sit again on your heels. This is all depending on your hips. So either cross your legs, put one foot on top, watch for the knees, make sure that your pelvis is balanced or neutral. So you want a little bit of a lower back arch, shoulders back and down, hands together at the center of the heart. And we're gonna seal our practice with our Metta Mantra. You may repeat in your mind. May I be happy, may I be healthy, may I be safe, May I live in peace. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be safe. May you live in peace. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all be safe. May all live in peace. Inhale through your nostrils. Through your nostrils, exhale. Inhale to Om. Oh. Tuck your chin onto your chest, blink your eyes open, gaze forward, rub your hands together, building extra prana. Shower yourself with your own energy and then use the hands to shake off Whatever energy does not belong to you, you don't need it anymore. If it's heavy, just shake it off. 
don't take it with you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Namaste, yogis. And remember, if you have enjoyed this video, click on subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and remember that we offer weekly classes on our online yoga studio. Thank you again for being part of this community and see you next time. Namaste.